Good morning, Centurions. I'm Russ. And I'm Lacey. Welcome back to Channel 97 News. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 42. And tomorrow's weather, we can expect more showers with a high of 54 and a low of 43. Today's lunch is pulled pork on a bun or hot dog with chili, and tomorrow's lunch is oven-roasted chicken and cheesy meatloaf. Don't forget, this Thursday is the Pancake Supper. $7 gets you pancakes and admission to the soccer or volleyball game and all the other entertainments. Also, all sham rock and roll forms and money are due to Miss Oakley on Thursday. Don't forget to sell raffle tickets for the PTO's March Madness. The tickets give gives a chance to win, win money every day during the month of March. If your homeroom sells 40 or more, you get free Rita's Ice. On this day in history in 1993, the World Trade Center was bombed. Many people consider this the precursor of the 9-11 attacks. Today is National <laughs> Pistachio Day. Go home and crack open a few pistachios. Have, Have a, a great, great day, Centurions! The month of February is Black History Month. During this month, we will be sharing some influential African Americans with you. We hope you enjoy and learn something new. Michael Joseph Jackson was an American singer, songwriter, and dancer dubbed the King of Pop. He is regarded as one of the most significant cultural icons of the 20th century and one of the most greatest entertainers of all time. Michael made his professional debut in 1964 with his elder brothers, Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, and Marlon, as a member of the Jackson Five. He began his solo career in 1971. Through stage and video performances, Jackson popularized a number of complicated dance techniques, such as the robot and the moonwalk, to which he gave his name, to which he gave the name. His distinctive sound and style has influenced numerous artists of various gen genres. Jackson's other albums, including Off the Wall, 1979, Bad, 1987, Dangerous, 1991, and History, 1995, also rank among the world's best-selling albums. Jackson is also remembered for his philanthropy and pioneering efforts in the charitable fundraising and the entertainment industry. During February, we'd like to focus on kindness. This can be as simple as holding the door for someone or saying a nice thing to them when they are having a bad day. In a world where you can be anything, choose to be kind. Sometimes it's easy to feel like the world's getting harder. But if we look closer, on the news, on the web, on the street, we're anything but unkind. Every day, we hear new stories of people trying to make the world a better place. And together, we can make the world that little bit kinder for all of us. It all starts with just one person, you. The thing about kindness is that it's just about the only thing in the world that doubles when you share it. And it's a fact, backed by science. Studies have shown that if you perform just one random act of kindness a day, you'll not only reduce your stress, anxiety, and depression, but your body is flooded with the same hormones that make you and the person you've helped calmer, healthier, and happier. Serotonin, which heals your wounds, helps you relax and makes you feel good. Endorphins, which reduce pain, and oxytocin, which reduces blood pressure and makes you feel more loving and loved. You'll both be more energized, feel less aches and pains, more confident, and could even live longer. And if other people see you helping someone else, they'll be filled with those same feel-good hormones, meaning they're significantly more likely to pay it forward. Like taking that extra moment to hold the elevator for someone, spotting a coffee for a stranger who's just a few cents short, giving your neighbor a hand with their groceries, even just smiling and meaning it. It doesn't take much, but it can make a huge difference for everyone. Those people you've helped will help other people, and those other people will help even more people. And those random acts of kindness can start a chain reaction that can spread across an entire community, a city, a country, and with enough of us, the world. Now, isn't that the world we all want? And it all starts with one. What grade are you in? Seventh grade. What sports do you 
good at softball. What's your favorite skill of playing the violin? Who's your favorite violin player? Who's your favorite teacher? Thank you. Welcome back to Joker of the Day. So, what do you call a pooch that lives in Alaska? A chili dog. <laughs> What did the traffic lights say to the car? I don't know. What did the traffic lights say to the car? <laughs> you have to find out tomorrow. <laughs>